Tonight, we crown a champion. After eight weeks and 34 total games, the inaugural simulation football minor league season culminates in Chicago as the number one ranked Madison Lynx take on the second seeded Ottawa Cavalry for the right to be called the first ever champions of the SFLM. And frankly, Mike, neither of these offenses have been sensational so far this season, but both defenses are top notch. And as they say, defense wins championships. In my opinion, one of these teams' defense is going to win them the championship here this evening. Tommy Tron punts away for Ottawa, and here comes Paul Dillavu, one of the best return men in the league. He's got a kick six on the season, shakes a tackle, and he's gone. Paul Dillavu has the first punt return touchdown of the minor league season. The link strike first on a kick six from Dillavu. Oh my goodness, the Madison Lynx are on the board first. Paul Dillavu does a little dance move, spins around, finds an open lane, and takes it all the way to Painter. First and five after the penalty. Fake handoff this time for Majors. He rolls out and he goes down. This has been a problem area for Madison all season. That's Scott Stover, the Iron Man, with his first sack and the 28th allowed by Madison this season. Big Scott Stover busts through that offensive line, and that's what Ottawa wasn't able to do in that Week 7 matchup, Tim. They lost 20-17, to and although Madison gives up more sacks than anybody else in the SFL minors, in that game, they didn't give up any, and Stover comes up with one. Great point. They did not get a single sack. That's the only game all season that Madison did not allow any sacks. Vasquez airing it deep down the middle of the field, and the pass is hauled in. First down and a whole lot more. That's the fullback, Chris Kamasak, and he goes all the way for the touchdown. Ottawa gets on the board courtesy of the fullback, Alasclar Herr Kamasak. <laughs> what a play by the Ottawa Calvary. Caught the Madison League sleeping. Madison's up 13 to nothing. You think this game is probably getting away. And then the next thing you know, Javier Vasquez finds his big fullback, Kamasak, down the middle for a big time touchdown. Ottawa's back in this game. A 72 yard touchdown link up from Vasquez to the fullback. And he is just the fourth fullback to score a touchdown of any kind this season. Second down and goal from the one. Vasquez under center, delayed handoff. Here goes McMichaels, all kinds of daylight for Steven McMichaels, and he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. Third rushing score of the season for the man from Tennessee, and Ottawa can take the lead with a PAT. And just like that, Uncle Mo, the fickle man, has turned over to Ottawa. And right here, they're up by one. What an unbelievable finish to this half. Ottawa has tied the game with just under two minutes to go in the inaugural SFLM title game. Amy Shalizzi, who has been lights out all season. The kicker from Marlboro, Mass. On for the PAT. Already Archuleta is the holder. And the PAT is blocked. That's unbelievable. I think that's only the second time all season that that's happened. And it happens again here in the title game. Ottawa trying to take the lead, and the Madison front blocks the PAT from Shalizzi. Oh, my goodness. What a tough break for the Ottawa Calvary. The snap came out a little bit low. The punter, Tommy Tron, had difficulty collecting it. And before you knew it, the Lynx were in the backfield, and they blocked the extra point. This game's tied. Four men out wide. Hail Mary formation here. For Javier Vasquez in Ottawa, 56 yards away from the end zone. Last play of the first half. Vasquez under pressure and down he goes. The notorious BRV, Billy Ray Valentine with the sack and a swish to end the first half. Billy Ray Valentine puts the exclamation point to end the half. He led the team with six sacks this year. His only touchdown of the season came back in week seven when Ottawa played the Madison Lynx, and he's having one of the best games of his career today. Here goes McMichaels, huge hole for Stephen McMichaels, and he will waltz untouched into the end zone. Ottawa takes the lead. Best-looking drive of the game for the Ottawa Cavalry. Great job by the offensive line to pick up their assignments. The left end picks up the linebacker, and McMichaels tiptoes into the end zone. Touchdown, Ottawa! There's Chris Kamasak, the fullback. Don't turn around. There are Kamasaks in town. Leads the way with a paved block, and he blows up the linebacker to help pave the way for McMichael's second touchdown of the game. Look for Madison to maybe take a shot into the end zone if Majors drops back to pass. 
Walking from behind, down by four, two and a half to go in the third. Here's Catherine Horrell, big spin move, and on her way to pay dirt. That'll help her shake off the rust. Catherine Horrell is on the board of the championship game. Madison's back on top. Catherine Horrell says, forget about the pass, give me the rock. She makes a spin move, and oh, baby, does she make that work? She cashes it in, touchdown, Lynx. What a play by Horrell, one spin move, and she cuts back against Brad Banker. Sean Allen, one of the best tacklers in the league, had nothing to say about it. What a run. We've seen that from her over the last couple of weeks, Mike, and finally she comes to play here in this title game. Her first score, give her now five total touchdowns on the season. Still just a three-point game, and so the man from Hickory is on to attempt his fifth field goal of the ball game. Michael Mitchell awaits the snap from Roderick Kidd. Madison taking its time. Two seconds on the play clock. The kick from Otis Boudreau is good. He atones for that earlier miss. And Madison goes up by six with 2.04 to go. Madison will stack the box on fourth and two. McMichaels is the lone setback. Vasquez to throw on an out route. The pass is tipped and incomplete. This Madison defense comes up once again. D'Amico Ryans, the outside linebacker, paws it away. A turnover on downs. Madison takes over. Congratulations to Berto DeMora. The celebration starts in Madison, Wisconsin. They had an excellent season. Javier Vasquez, he did all of this running both sides of the ball, Tim. Offense and defense had no coaching experience whatsoever coming into this year. And he said, if I could get to four wins, that would be a success. And he took his team all the way to the championship. But today... It's the Madison Lynx. Their name is going to go up on the marquee. And Berto DeMora, once again, congratulations. Pop the champagne bottles. Madison Lynx, you are the first ever SFL minor league champion. It's official. Madison defeats Ottawa 26-20. And the Madison Lynx are the official champions of the SFLM's inaugural season.